Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. I am so excited for today's video because we are doing a bit of a tour of my new workspace and office here at home. Now, like a lot of people, I always wanted to set up an office space in my bedroom for my company, uh, but I didn't have the time, but then the pandemic hit and I thought, I suddenly have some time. So I finally got to put it together and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Almost all of the decorating was DIY and upcycling, which if you've been paying attention, you know I'm all about. I wanted a desk that was going to have a high-end feel without that high-end price range. And if you're keen to see that, keep up watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date. Now I really love cohesive design styles and I wanted everything to kind of match both in with my room but also with what I already had. Now I have got a Mac desktop and obviously that has got a black and silver sort of feel to it and so I wanted to add on to that with some white. But my room just like the rest of my house has got a very traditional design style in terms of furnishings. Now I partner my traditional with a little bit of the glam design style and I denied for for so long that I was a glam person. I was like, no, I don't like that. I really hate pink and all these sorts of things. And then I realized I was starting to buy pink stuff and I owned a lot of pink clothes and my bedspread and my towels and everything started to be pink that I was buying. And then when I looked at what I was pinning on Pinterest in terms of uh, decor and stuff, it was all pink, it was all fluffy, it was all sparkly, and I realized I'm a glam girl, I can't deny it, I love the glam style, but I still love that traditional aspect. The traditional furnishings I couldn't change, so I combined the two, and so here is my traditional glam office. Now because my desk is such a beautiful dark wood, I wanted to lighten up the top surface but I also didn't want to damage the desk at all. So I opted for a desk mat for my keyboard to sit on. And to do this I actually upcycled an old cutting board which I had, but you could use a piece of wood or potentially even cardboard to get a similar result. I covered it in an adhesive contact paper which looked like marble to tie in with the colour scheme but also to break up the darkness of the desk. On the back I attached some non-slip material which I had and I'll put a link to all of these items down below. A really great thing with the contact adhesive because it's a marble print if you do get any bubbles or creases you won't see them so obviously because it'll just look like it's part of the marble. It also makes it really easy to wipe anything off. I did the same thing as well with my mouse pad. It was old and dirty and it just needed a bit of a facelift. So I breathed new life into it and they now look so good. I happen to be a person who has a lot of paper. Two weeks ago, I can tell you, my room didn't look like this. My desk wasn't sitting here. It was covered in clutter. I couldn't really get rid of some of it. So I decided to get these file boxes, which were really cheap from Kmart. And the interior is pink, so hello. It matches in with my design style. But I thought that they needed to be spruced up just a little bit. So I covered the lid in the marble contact. And I'm really happy with how it looks. These are really handy and practical so that I can have a box that's got things to file in it and things for this company and receipts and all that sort of stuff neatly in one spot. They sit behind my computer screen so I'm not seeing them all the time but they're actually taking up some dead space that's there which was really handy. I am the kind of person that has always put off cleaning and all these sorts of things. Even though I actually really like clean spaces, I often haven't had the time to clean and so I've never had a place for everything to put everything in its place. And so I wanted to make that a really big thing here that I wanted to have a specific spot for everything that I needed. I love pen jars and having everything I need on the daily within arm's reach and not having to dive into a drawer all the time. But I couldn't find one that I wanted in my style or price range. So I bought this plain wooden desk caddy from Kmart and painted it white, then glued these mirrored mosaic tiles from Bunnings Warehouse onto the sides. I did the same thing with a plain tissue box cover that I got in Bunnings as well, and the pair of them together look so stunning. You may recognize this coaster and tray as one I made a couple of weeks ago in my CD upcycling video. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link it here on the screen for you now. 
I love the tray because I use it to house all of the notebooks and things I need regularly, like current projects. I enjoy the fact that it's easily accessible and I can grab what I need, but then push it back again so it's out of the way. To ensure that the tray wasn't going to scratch my desk, I glued some felt to the bottom of it and now it moves easily and my desk isn't going to get ruined. Also, just a disclaimer for those of you who did ask, I made the tray from copy DVDs, not regular DVDs, and the ones I use had a purple colouring to them. Also love this beautiful frame that I found at home, which makes a simple yet effective whiteboard and looks really cute. The pop of colour that these fake flowers bring is just beautiful. I also have them in my lounge room as well because I love them so much. They are really cheap and they have such a big effect on the space. I was recently given this secondhand office chair, which was great because I needed a new one, but the colour didn't go with my space. So I got a tablecloth which had previously been ruined a couple of years ago in a theatre show, and so I cut it up to cover the chair. I found that I couldn't attach the padding on the chair easily, so I just tied and glued it straight over the top. And it's not the best reupholstery by any stretch of the imagination, but it does the job and it's good enough for me and that's all that matters. This last one is one of my favourites. I took an old worn out pin board and covered it in some wadding and then took an old pillow slip that I had and put it over the top and used a staple gun to secure it in place. I then cut some ribbon to make a lattice and then spaced the gaps evenly apart and glued them down. To finish I added these sparkly buttons that I had left over from another project to really glam it up. It works great as a pin board and you can use mini pegs to attach stuff as well as looping it behind the ribbon and I couldn't be more thrilled with the end result. A high-end product without that high-end price range and that is exactly what I wanted. That's all I have for you guys today. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you are keen to see more reveals about what my quarantine cleaning has brought about, stay tuned because I've got a few of those coming your way. And here is a little sneak peek of one of the other rooms in my house which I've already tackled. comment down below if you are keen to do a tour of my craft and prop making area and how I organize that. I have recently just redone the whole thing and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So let me know if you want to see more of that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye!